What up y'all, Preston Smiles here. Make sure you go to PrestonSmiles.com. I have something really awesome that I only release there. So today's transmission is, and it's funny because I hear a lot of people talk about drama. And I gotta tell you guys, drama doesn't just walk into your life. You either invite it, create it, or associate with it. Now I'm gonna say that again. Drama doesn't just walk into your life. You either invite it, create it, or associate with it. But it's always you. Now, I talk to some people and they're like, well, you know, I, I, I don't want drama. And I'm like, yes, you do. I, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I think that some of you guys like drama. And let me explain to you what this looks like. The person who, who creates drama is the person who always is, has a complaint, always is, is upset about uh, traffic, you know? The traffic on the 10 is so terrible. And, and they're always upset about something, not knowing that they're the source of the entire thing. They're always talking about drama, but they're the ones creating it because they're always offended. Did you see the way she looked at me? Did you see the way she walked in with her little heels and did her little thing? I know I'm doing a lot right now, but like that's how some of you guys look. And then there's the person who invites drama, right? This is the person who, and I'll give you an example. I had a friend of mine a few years back. We, we went out uh, in Hollywood and she decided without me knowing to leave her purse in my back seat and this stuff was happening all over her life. So she left her purse in my backseat, and as you can guess, the thieves that walked by were like, dude, jackpot. So they busted my window, took her purse, and then she had to pay for my window and all the stuff that happened from her having her purse stolen. The people who are always inviting drama walk around with their naive caps on, and they're like, oh, I don't know what happened, it just happened. No, you're not paying attention. That's what's happening. You're not paying attention. And then there's the people who associate with drama. You see, these people are the ones that hang around people and they have this conversation going. Well, so-and-so gossips, but that's not me. Well, if you hang around with them, you become that. You know, they have the thing or they join teams, organizations that are known for drama. And my mom used to always say when I was a kid, you lie with dogs, you're gonna come up with fleas. And now as, as an older, Gentlemen, I understand this much, much more. You see, when you deal in dirt, you're gonna come up muddy. You're gonna come up dirty. So the people who associate with drama are those who, who hang around the dramatic people and believe that they're not a part of it. But yet and still, remembering that everything is energy and that if you hang around a certain energy, a certain vibrational frequency too long, you become that frequency and then you walk around with your drama cap on wondering why it's always coming to you. Well, we're all magnets, guys. We're all magnets. We all have antennas on and our job is to, is to turn our receptivity to that thing called light, to that thing called love, to that thing called peace, harmony, abundance. That's our job is to turn our dials, our knobs to that thing called love and operate from that space. But when you're, when you're dealing in drama, when you're inviting it, creating it, or associating with it, then you have turned your, your knob to drama and that's what you get. Because the universe is not listening to your words. It's not listening to your language. God, the universe, doesn't speak English. It speaks frequency. On a certain level, we definitely create with our words, but like more than anything, we create with who we're being. So if you want to change your life, figure out which one of those you are or a combination of the three and start to work on it soon. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being so freaking awesome and leaving me such amazing messages. If you are new to the tribe, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you're on Facebook, please share this video. We got to get messages like this out everywhere, guys. Everywhere. Because right now we're living in a society that is um, hungry for drama. And us, warriors of the light, no different. We know better. So work with me. I love you. Blessings and blessings. I love you guys. Click subscribe, share, and like. Ah. How many of us sit on our talents, bury our talents in the ground because we wish that we were born into a rich family. We wish that our dad wasn't on drugs. We wish that we weren't raped when we were seven. We wish, we wish, we wish. None of that matters.